Alright, kind of a big thing going on, going on right, right now with Vista and XP, the 32-bit edition or the 64-bit edition. And I know there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube right now that go into this. So, here's another one you can add to that list. Right now, I am in 64-bit Vista, and that's because I have 4 gig of RAM. And if you can see here, that was a waste, because physical memory available to Windows is 3,144,308K, which is about 3 gig. I don't know where that other gig went, but it was here when I first installed Windows. But whatever, I really don't need it. So, and then also here, let me open this, you can see it is 64-bit Vista with 4 gig of RAM. Now one thing I noticed is that 64-bit Vista really eats your hard disk space. This is a 120 gig hard drive and I'm using 39 gig. Usually I'm using about 19 gig. So this is insane, I'm using this much. And here's why. When I browse the C drive, there's two program files. x86 or 32-bit and then the 64-bit. Not very many programs are made for 30, are made for 64-bit, so it has to run them in a compatibility mode. Not only does this take RAM, but it takes hard disk space to have two different program files. As you can see, the 32-bit program files, that's 2.26 gig. The 64-bit program files, that's 538 meg. Kind of a big difference there. Also, 64-bit Vista seems to take longer while well, starting up, and it uses quite a bit more RAM. Go over to performance here, and you can see I'm using 1.31 gig. And I'm sitting here, let's see. Look, I'm uploading to YouTube. Okay, good. I have a, I have a window open here. Uh-huh. Let's close that. Okay. There, I saved 10 meg. That's great. It's eating RAM. I don't know what's up with it. Now, do I suggest it? No. Unless you want to have a lot of RAM, because 32-bit can theoretically only support 3 gig. Well, looks like on my 64-bit can only use about 3 gig here too, but that's beside the point. So anyways, go to 64-bit for speed? No. Go to it because you need the RAM? Yes. Now, you can't even buy 64-bit in the store, I don't think. You have to get 32-bit, go to Microsoft, and have it swapped out and I'll send you something for 10 bucks and that's what I did this is ultimate so again I don't suggest it unless you need four or more gig of RAM which the average user doesn't need but don't go to it for speed and performance because it sucks with that it is this stuff so thanks for watching and good luck with what I'm telling you